Hello YouTube, what is going on? So here we sit once again in the 23 Tesla Model Y Performance and we got a package in from Tesla C, which is a brand that does Tesla mods and accessories. And they want us to check out this new screen as we're all too familiar with, kind of like this one up here that's real integrated into the to the, uh, the the panel here. It doesn't sit up top, it just sits right on here. But the difference is, is it's much larger width-wise. So, we're gonna unbox this thing and check it out. So, as you can see, here is the actual manual. Nice laid out in English. Definitely something to take a peek at and look at all the functions, which we'll go through as well once it's installed. But yeah, definitely nice. I like how they're starting to come with manuals and this is definitely a, a better one. Comes with your usual spudger. Your front camera, it does support front camera. We're not gonna install it. I will show you how to and what's up with all that, but we're not gonna install it. Last, we have the wires. This one is for the AMD chip only. Some of them come with both. This one you do have to specify, no big deal, easy enough. And we got the unit itself. Let's pull this out, see what it looks like. All right, so here is the unit. It comes with the panel, which the unit will go ahead and reside on. It does come with the needed tools and little screws to go ahead and screw it in and all that. So we're gonna do that right now and then we're gonna go ahead and start popping things off as usual. Pop that off, goes right down there. Really easy stuff. We've done it a million times, let's do it a million and one. Let's get this thing installed. All right, now as you can see, we do have the unit installed, which is very easy to do, I should say, put together. Slide the wires up through the little spots and they're indicated for them to go in one two screws do the round section going forward with the screen facing you that's how it'll sit these areas right here will pop in the little plastic or leatherish sheath back there and also notice how it had two screws it comes with three which is awesome that companies do that in case one strips you lose one good stuff all right next pop this off pop the panels off we'll get this thing installed literally five minute installation maybe ten let's go per usual suspect pop this panel off do the same on the other side we'll lift this out get everything going super easy install these things are so easy all right so now that we have the panel removed per usual very easy if you want more in-depth video of that happening, go ahead and look at my past videos or I'll link one in the description or maybe above right here. Next, we gotta start undoing this. Take this off. Pop this clip right here and take this off. And then we'll be good to go to get underneath here where we need to hook the wires up. So let's do that. Okay, so I have my old panel, which is right here popped off. You'll have the, either one of these or an OEM panel, which uh, looks very similar to that without the screen. And what I suggest doing is going in with the spudger right down here and just pop it off. It'll come off very easily. Then go ahead and there's a few clips right here, right here, right here. I've actually broken one right there. And right here fits in or you can just do those clips right there but i just found it easier to do it this way my way it's not the right way not the wrong way but it's definitely my way so all right so i ran the wire to notice i got a little bit of blue masking tape down there i'm gonna go ahead and mask off the rest so it doesn't bounce around blue painter's tape we'll get the thing hooked up put it in see how it looks so just off the bat, I connected this to Wi-Fi and it's already installing a brand new update over the air. So that's pretty cool. This is one of the first units I've actually seen 
do the over the air update with these. And it's the first thing that happened when I connected. I went to settings, went and connected the Wi Fi, and then I went to check for an update, and there was one. So, this one I've had for about a week, so I doubt your models that you get in will have to get this update, but super cool that the update is ready for, say an older model like this, ready to go out the bat. So just thought that was pretty cool. Wanted to share before we get into everything else. So I went back to check to see if there was any further updates after this one. And as you can see, no update. So successful update. When we get everything buttoned up, we're gonna go through some settings and see what this thing's all about. All right, so we have everything all hooked up and it's looking really good. I did notice that the image that shows of the vehicle is almost for the gray. It's more that, that silver that's, I think, coming to us in America soon for the Model Y, but they have it over in like Germany and Europe and whatnot. And also, it, it definitely resembles more of the Highland style. You can tell in the headlights and whatnot. Let's see if I can zero in a little bit. You can tell. Um, still looks pretty good. Love it. I do notice that I have my AM and PM messed up. It is definitely 631 PM right now, not AM. Uh, I can fix that and I'll show you how to. 46 degrees out, that is correct. I did notice when I first installed this, it did show as kilometers per hour. It changes automatically, so don't get worried. Just start driving and it'll change right over. It does show normal stuff, 38% drive, reverse, neutral, park, all that good stuff right there. Uh, it's definitely a good unit, I like it. So let me get sorted in here a little bit and show you what we can do. We slide over from here and we go ahead and hit the bottom button, that just turns it off. So press it, we're back. Next on the list, slide over. Gotta slide it kind of in the middle there. Go ahead and click the cog wheel and we're in to where the language time format, ADH, uh, also the steering wheel, tire pressure, time zone. Um, time zone GMT, as we can see, it says plus eight. I need to be minus eight, I believe, or minus five. I'll switch that up in a little bit. But go ahead and hit your language, change your time format for us in the US to 12 hours. ADH off is the uh, head up display, I believe, or the, um, I should say the camera. I didn't install the camera as stated. Um, I go through these so much, these screens, that I don't want to go ahead and install one and not be able to go ahead and install it and plug and play and whatnot. So I just leave it off. I don't use it anyway, so no worries. I will link to a video to show how to uh, install that camera as well. It's real easy. Just go through the front, take some front stuff off. You run it through the firewall, which there's a little, little gasket that you can poke with a screwdriver. Go ahead and make a little incision and go ahead and run it through. And it'll go right under here when everything is out and just go ahead and run it up through here and you're good to go. But in any case, uh, that's how you turn that off so we won't have to worry about it. It does have a setting for it though. And we can see that it has no signal, it says in the background, but you can change the frame rate, resolution, the rotation of it, uh, mirror it to flip it horizontally, saturation, brightness, all that good stuff. So it does have a lot going on with it, which is cool. Um, but again, we're not using it. So that's the general. Let's go to display. You can set your car color. I set mine to gray. The appearance, uh, which is auto at the moment. You could do day, night. Um, that mine will just change with the display. Uh, the main uh, unit, the UI. Temperature in Fahrenheit, Rainbow Road, I keep off. And the brightness I keep to auto, so it just does it on its own, controlled by the regular Tesla UI. Wireless. It does uh, connection mode, um, audio. Uh, well, I go back to connection. It's CarPlay or Android Auto. I have an iPhone, so of course CarPlay. And then we have auto mode, which takes it so if you are listening to your phone. So say you're using Waze or you're on a phone call or whatnot. It can go. It'll either go through the phone 
or go through the head-up display, it's gonna go through this display if you have HUD on. Um, I say to keep HUD on just for, say you're using Waze or whatnot and announces a railroad crossing or police near or, you know, whatever. It'll come right through the display. You'll hear it loud and clear, which is awesome. Next, we have setup. So you can turn your Wi-Fi on here. You connect to your Wi-Fi and you'll be able to over the air update. I did have an over the air update. You should not, uh, as we stated earlier, and it worked perfectly uh, right over the air, which is awesome. So this is actually the first unit that I've actually had an over the air update with, and I've installed probably six of these. Not that they haven't worked or been out there, but when I check, I just don't seem to have one. And then I never check again, to be honest with you. Um, this one I checked right away and it worked perfectly. So that's great. Don't need to do that now. So we'll X out of here. Next, we're gonna go to software. That's where you'll go to check the software version, which mine is down here. If you wanna compare it with yours, once you get it, screenshot, check it out. And then go ahead and check from there. Also, you can see there's a back button. So when we wanna get out of here, we just click back and we are good to go. Now we're back to this. Now what's really cool is I have my Waze clicked on to automatically come up when I get in the car. I didn't have it set for this because I wanted to start off this segment of the video on this new UI for the setup display. But if we go ahead and click this over here, now Waze is up and Android Auto as a function is up. So that's where your Android Auto is. It will not do the entire screen. It'll always have the UI right there in the corner, but still pretty cool. I like having the UI there as well as this large screen and it's very fluent. It, little delay on the, on the swipe, but not bad at all. And you got all your good stuff in here. I like Waze, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click Waze and have Waze on the entire time. But yeah, I like so you can just go ahead and scroll through up or down and up will go to no signal because we had the head up display on at one point so we'll go ahead and go down and we're right there so good to go that's this unit in a nutshell let's go ahead and see what it looks like at night on a drive so here we are taking a little ride at nighttime using Waze and also the UI which looks really good. I mean, this screen way better in person than it is on these videos on YouTube. But as you can see, I'm, I'm looking right through the steering wheel and I can see it perfectly the way I have it set up. A Little bit of the top edge here is cut off and on the other side as well, but not much. Also flipping through UI to UI, very easy. And as you can see, it does look great gives you all the information you want right in front of you. You can flip back to CarPlay really easily, back and forth. Very fluid and easy to do. Also CarPlay, easy to switch through. Definitely looks great. I like just having my CarPlay on Waze. What also I do like about this unit is if you're approaching a railroad crossing or approaching uh, something like a uh, a cop or whatnot, it lets you know right through the UI that you can go ahead and keep going through and letting you know that they are there right through the head unit. So you don't have to have Bluetooth set up or whatnot. Kind of mumbled my words there, had a car coming up. But in any case, you get the point. So on some of these, it goes right through the Bluetooth. You can't hear anything. You can just run your music and this will come up and it's actually very loud. So that's about it for this video. Head over to teslac.com, use code JTheDev at checkout. Get yourself one of these really nice, really minimal, really cool looking actually, uh, screens, 8.8 .8 inches. Definitely looks great. Works with the Highland model as well, I believe. Um, yeah, head on over there. Again, teslac.com, use code JTheDev. Thank you for watching this video. Click like, hit the notification bell, sub, share, do what you gotta do to help us get these videos out and share us all around the net and get our algorithm going. It helps greatly and we appreciate it. So until the next time, have a good one. See ya.